Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. If you like fried chicken, you come to the right episode. I'm going to be doing a little fried chicken on the Weber Smoke Fire EX6. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a pit fried southern style buttermilk chicken in this episode. <music> Uh, don't watch your chicken. Make sure you throw away the uh, perch here. I'm using a Dal Strom Santa Good Night. This is a wonderfully balanced uh, Shogun series from the folks at Dal Strom. Super nice knife to use. Buttermilk brine is really simple. You get a 32 ounce container of buttermilk. Add a little bit of hot sauce to taste. About three or four tablespoons of rub, any kind you want. You can use salt if you don't have a rub. I'm just gonna do about one, two, three, four tablespoons of my rub. Mix it up. I transferred the chicken to a bigger container that was too small. And we're going to let this sit overnight so it has a nice flavor. The butter melt soak, breaking down the uh, meat together with the uh, seasonings from the Slap Your Daddy rub and the hot sauce. A little bit of a spicy southern uh, pit fried buttermilk chicken here. I'm going to cook it on a smoke fire. I'll show you guys how to do a kind of like a, a pit fried chicken with some of uh, butter on a cast iron pan. Let's go ahead and uh, prep our chicken. It's been marinating overnight. Get some flour into a bag. You can do this on the countertop, but I think the bag is a lot easier and a lot less mess. Just throw about two cups of flour, a little bit of a cayenne pepper, maybe about one teaspoon, and uh, some seasoning. I'm gonna use just a dash of seasoning. One, two, maybe about two tablespoons, two, two or three tablespoons. Shake it up. And uh, let's dump our chicken in there. So the bag is uh, very handy that way Less of a mess, you know me, right? I'm always cheap and lazy. I want to do things fast. And it's a much faster way to do it. And you can throw some more flour and some more seasoning on top, that's fine. That way there's no mess in the kitchen. There is no mess out in the uh, in oil and everything because uh, you're doing this by uh, throwing everything in the, in the uh, smoke fire. All a bunch of outdoor cooking. No worries here. Make sure it's easy with flour. See here, like so. Alright, ready back. It's done. Ready to throw into the smoke fire. Smoke fire is running at 400. I'm ready to get started. Beans, you want some fried chicken? Alright. Get my cast iron pan in here. Two of them. Let it reheat a little bit before I put in the chicken and the butter. Let's check the temp here. One nice thing about a smoke fire is that it cooks really hot. Okay, I want to get it into the nice range here. I decided to lower the temp to 375 because uh, 400 seems quite hot. 
So we're going by feel to try to get a perfect uh, pit smoked or pit fried chicken today. Let's make a little drizzle sauce for our southern pit fried chicken. I'm going to make some honey with some uh, hot sauce, with a little bit of butter. I'm going to use it as a dipping sauce or a sauce to pour over our fried chicken. so hard to make the chicken you guys saw how simple it was to throw everything in the smoke fire this took about uh, 12 minutes on one side about another eight minutes or so on the other side to get it to 165 super delicious and uh, you know crisp, nice and crispy also I'm gonna grab a wing here and I'm gonna eat try it with the uh, sauce here the uh, hot wing sauce so look at that I wish you guys would taste this. The buttermilk soak was uh, really excellent to tenderize the chicken. All that flavor from the buttermilk and the uh, sauce and the hot sauce and the buttermilk together with the rub really penetrated the meat to soak overnight. Absolutely flavorful chicken meat, super moist and drippy. A little bit of a flour coating on it and throw in a smoke fire. The advantage of this dish is that not only is it super good, it doesn't make a mess of your kitchen. No need to have a lot of oil in the kitchen. I just use a couple of sticks of butter. Need on my cast iron pan on my EX6. The EX6 is one of the special pits out there that you can easily get to 400, 450 degrees. So you can do a pit fried chicken easily in a smoke fire. I have another pellet cooker here which doesn't get so hot, but uh, if you want to do fried chicken in the pit, go ahead and use a something like a Weber smoke fire. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna grab another bite here. Man, it's so good. Crunchy, moist, full of flavor. Probably some of the best pits smoked chicken I've ever had. Super, super crunchy. Dip in some of the sauce. Mmm, just so good. This recipe is a keeper. I hope you guys will try it at home. Not that hard to do. Stay home, stay alive, and cook some barbecue. Now, I'm gonna check if Mr. Beans wants to try some fried chicken. Hey Beans, so what do I have here? What do you think I have? No brisket today, but I got some wonderful fried chicken. You want to try some fried chicken? I guess he's excited. Okay, try the fried chicken. I think he likes it. Mr. Brisket Dog, you like fried chicken too? All right, Beans, that's a great piece of chicken you had had, right? Pit fried chicken in the Weber Smokefire EX6. So folks, be safe, stay home, stay alive, cook barbecue.